Hello and welcome back. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, Paint with Gloria. Now let's get started. Welcome back and thank you for joining me once again. This is part two. Now I decided I don't want this cow. I don't like the looks of it. So I just block it out. In other words, I'm erasing it with black acrylic paint. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that it's dark enough where we don't see the other side where the whole cow used to be. I am doing the grass. I'm not doing the whole grass, just the section where I blacked it out. Just to make sure that we have it all combined together. And that's going to need a few minutes to dry once we're done with the grass. Yeah, but while we wait for the grass to dry, we can do other things. I'm tapping using a half inch flat brush. You can stop tapping whenever you're pleased with what you see on your canvas. Okay, so now while that's dry, we're going to do some Spanish moths. <laughs> And here I'm using a fan brush. It's just like a half an inch fan brush. I started with some dark gray, which you'll see a combination of dark grays, light grays, some greens, some yellows. A combination just to kind of get that Spanish mouth uh, effect. Also, you want to wiggle your brush. You want to turn your brush sideways. You want to twirl if you have to. And in some of these um, parts of this video, it's going to be time lapse, which means it's going to be fast forwarding because um, I feel you already have an idea of what I'm doing, what kind of stroke I'm using. Um, whether it's gliding or tapping or wiggling, I start slow, but then it'll get fast. And uh, you just pause your video as need to, get caught up, and restart your video again. See here, I'm just doing one side. And of course, I'm going to do the whole front because this is the foreground. This Spanish moth is going to cover the whole top of my canvas because the tree is right above all this so it's going to be the closest thing to us as we look at this painting a couple more minutes of this and um, it'll go into the time lapse Go over if you have to. As long as you're happy with it, just keep wiggling and put in as much as you want to. I think the more you put in, the better you'll look. In between the two videos is um, almost an hour along between the two part one part two but make sure you check part one to get the beginning of the painting instructions <laughs>
Okay, now we're going to do the form of the cow that I really like. We're sketching it using white acrylic and like a, maybe a, one a quarter of an inch liner. Just kind of outlining it so that we can determine the size. I did a light sketch it off it. I did a light sketch of it too using white charcoal. You can barely see that. But I wanted to make sure that I get the right size again between the squirrel and the shed in the back. I didn't want it too big or too small. We want to make sure we keep the right perspective. That makes a whole difference in your painting. And this cow is going to be black and white when I'm done with all the whiting. And again, it's your painting. You make your cow any color you like, or you can make a few paintings with different color cows. You can add one, two cows, three cows. It's up to you. I'm going to keep it at one for now. Who knows? Maybe in the future I'll change it. Maybe add another cow. But for now, I think I'll just keep the one.
I decided to pick up my liner, half inch liner, and kind of make uh, very thin lines on my Spanish moth. Using the same colors I had on my palette. be time to put some color on the squirrel so let's see gotta make sure it's gonna be some gray dark grays first and what I'm doing here is tapping again I'm using a very small a quarter inch fill the brush and I'm tapping 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 if you enjoy watching my videos and learning alongside with me uh, take some time to pause your video and subscribe to my channel also don't forget to share with your family and friends and give me a like any comments please leave it below
Okay, here you have the finished painting. The colors are a little different from the live video, uh, but you are looking at the same painting. I did highlight all the way in the back towers, the trees in the back. I did a lot of yellow, bright yellows, just to create more distance. And I think that's the only difference I... I added.